Hey, hey, everybody. Okay, I'm going to be doing Shelly Blooms today. And I haven't done them in ages. I've had these paints for ages and gel stains and I got COVID. So it's been a good month since I've done any acrylic pouring, especially when it includes blowing. <laughs> So, I have had these for quite a while and I'm, this is going to be a video on using Boom Gel. And this is a Shelly thing that is in the United States and I will put a link to Fluid Art Company below and you can purchase the Boom Gel there. It's 250 mLs which is a little over eight ounces in each bottle. And just real quickly, I'll go through the colors. I've got metallic gold, lily, pilly, pink, pearlescent cherry, pearlescent sunset, golden wattle yellow, pearlescent teal, pearlescent baby blue, native violet purple. These are pre-mixed, ready to pour. You don't have to do a thing to them. So that is the total advantage of using those by far. Because as you can see on my table before I clear it off to do my pouring, it takes so much stuff to achieve these beautiful blooms and I have never been 100% successful at it. I've done some pretty stuff, but I can't say it's just been like your bomb daddy. Let me tell you what I've got here on the table. I'm also, Fluid Art Company has this little piggy TLP pigment powders. And there is a, a good amount in a jar here. You can see the size of it. It's not the little tiny ones. And so I've got four of those. This is um, Tail Feather Grenache, which is a kind of a coppery red. Cinnamon, which looks like copper. And Sapphire, which is obviously a deep, beautiful blue. So those I had to mix with pouring medium. So I did not record making all of the pouring medium and everything else because it took me a good 45 minutes. It takes forever. So I'm skipping that part, but I'm going to tell you what I did use, okay? We'll start with the pillow paint, which is the house paint that's going to be on the base. And I used Walmart Color Place White Satin, which is in my laundry detergent bottle. I've already thrown the can away, but so the, it's cheap. You know, you can get a gallon for 16 bucks or so. I did add GAC 800 to it. Even if it's just a little bit, I'm trying to prevent cracking because in my studio, if I don't cover things, I have you know a ceiling fan that's on low. I've got a couple of air conditioning vents. I can't close them or it would be an oven or it would be a freezer. So I have to let the airflow keep going. So I put GAC 800 into my pillow paint to help try to prevent cracking, okay? Here's my turntable, which is a fabulous stainless steel turntable. I put a plastic bag and taped it so it doesn't get any paint on it. I taped a paint stick underneath to give myself a little handle to turn it. And then I have a shower cap kind of thing. It's like a multi-pack of um, just clear plastic covers. That way you can put it over your piece and keep it from getting covered with paint because this is so messy. It gets caked up really quickly and dries and you don't want that. I'm going to skip to the cell activator, which is pretty simple. I do have Australian Floetrol. This is the little tiny 500 milliliter one that you can usually find on eBay. That's pretty much the only place I have found it is on eBay. But just look at the size when you purchase it. Just this little fi uh, 500 milliliter bottle 
with shipping is at least $55 to $60, but I can honestly say it doesn't take that much for your cell activator, so it does last for quite a while. So that's what I used for a cell activator. And what I used is Amsterdam White, and I did three parts Australian Floetrol to one part Titanium White by Amsterdam. For the black, three parts Australian Floetrol to one part Golden Carbon Black, and, and this is just in a container. It's heavy bodied, so it's very thick, but I mix them up. And I put them in these little one ounce, two ounce um, bottles so I can just dispense them by squeezing out. And you don't have to use a stick every time, so that makes it just convenient. And, and then just quickly, I'm going to do blooms on some tiles. So I've taped off the back with frog tape. That helps with caking up paint. And if you end up resining them, you'll already have them taped off. I have these little tiny birch circles I've taped off on the back just to kind of start out for really small samples and then I've got a few canvases if I have time to you know do some more it's pouring medium pouring medium I did one part deep base paint I just happen to have semi gloss PPG uh, Ultra Deep Base 3, one part that to one part varnish. And my varnish was half and half Josanya Gloss Varnish and Polycrylic. So what I did was I did two ounces of this and two ounces of that. That makes four ounces. So I put four ounces in a container in here and then I did four ounces of the house paint. So that I'll put everything below the video so you'll know exactly what I used. Colors are already pre-mixed so I put the pouring medium in with the uh, what you do is you put a little bit of Josanya gloss varnish on the bottom of your cup just enough to like cover the little bottom part and then you put about I would say half a teaspoon or more of the pigment and you mix in the pigment powder into the gloss varnish that disperses it evenly and then you can put in your pouring medium and I've got these little one ounce shot glasses they're probably about a half an ounce or so so that's what is in my little containers here it's the uh, the little piggy I might have said Miss Piggy a little bit ago I'm just thinking kinda hindsight I might have said Miss Piggy <laughs> So that's what I've mixed is the pigment into about a half an ounce or so of pouring medium, but you disperse it into the varnish, just a little squirt of varnish first. That way you don't have any clumps later on. So here is my copper color, which was called cinnamon. All right. This was the sapphire here. And these did lighten up a little bit once I put the uh, house paint mixture with the varnish into it. It did lighten my colors. So I'm, I'm on the fence a little bit whether that was supposed to happen or not. I don't know. And then I have one tube paint that I mixed up because all of these are pigments really. And they're probably all pretty transparent. And I thought, you need one opaque paint at least. And I thought, well, I don't have any green. So I mixed myself some green. I used Artist Loft Light Green because it was one of the few greens that I had that was opaque, which means the little square on your tube is filled in. That means it's opaque and not transparent. I put a big squirt into my pouring medium. And then I wanted a little bit warmer because that was kind of like, it's, you know, light green. It's kind of a light emerald green. And I wanted it to be a little punchier, so I added a little bit of golden green gold fluid acrylic to it to brighten it up and get, make it more lime color. And then I took Funshine Color Shop, which is an Etsy store that I have under my all my videos. 
they're sparkle white which does not change the color of your paint but it will add sparkle and I use this with my resin all the time and I love it you can add it to anything so I added it into here to give the green some sparkle so that just gave my green a little bit of shimmer because pretty much all the other colors have some shimmer and I love shimmer so I'm gonna change this up put my box here to spin on and I'll be right back okay I'm back I got my box to keep the splatters from hitting me and everything else on my table uh, I've got my cake turner with the plastic cover I have a piece of tape underneath to kind of hold things just gently I had to cut my paint stick down a little bit because it hits the edge of the box because of the way I taped it so I had to break it off a little shorter oh and uh, the other thing is to the, all the pigments I saw Shelly do this in uh, this little piggy video she said if you wanted to it would sometimes help with the binding she put uh, some Liquitex gloss medium in well my Liquitex gloss medium was kind of almost dried up I happen to have deco art heavy gel medium gloss I put a little squirt of that into all of my mixed up little cups of pigment to give it just a little bit more body and she said that that usually helps with it binding and so I thought well I'll give it a try and I hate to make long videos like this but it's almost unavoidable when you're trying a bloom thing right so let's go ahead and get busy
Okay. Whew. That took an hour and a half just to do about six four inch tiles, uh, about five or six of those little round things, two of the bigger round wooden things, two six inch canvases, and an oval canvas. That took an hour and a half. And then, you know, the before time was 45 minutes to an hour mixing all the stuff up. So when you attempt a Shealy Bloom, you can plan on being in your studio for half the day. <laughs> and then you got this big old mess, which is in a box, and I can let it dry. I might even get some good skins right here. And um, it'll take days for it to dry. Let me just put it that way. But it is a big mess. I had fun. I'm a mess. I've got paint all over the front of my shirt from leaning in to blow. Don't ask me how I did that, but I did. So I enjoyed it. I got some great blooms. Um, the boom gel is great because it's just ready to go. And then the... Uh, the, this little piggy pigments were nice too. It's just uh, some of the colors that were brighter were in the so I kind of went reference to them quite often. But they're all beautiful paints. They all did great. Um, I will post, like I said, all the links below the video where you can find all the products. And <clears throat> If you're not a subscriber already, please subscribe. Share with your friends and ask them to subscribe. That always helps. And uh, I've bounced back from COVID. I'm doing great. I'm not out of breath from blowing. I didn't feel like I was going to pass out or anything like that. I didn't even cough once. So I'm proud of myself. So um, happy painting and pouring and blooming. It is quite the, what is the term? It's so elusive to try to do, and it takes quite a bit of effort. So thank you for watching. I love you all. I'll see you on the next video. Also, I have a link for Amazon Music. For anybody that likes to stream music and podcast, Amazon has a special right now. If you sign up, you get a free 90-day trial for 90 days and then it's $7.99 a month I think and uh, you get unlimited music and podcast anything that you can stream not movies but it's all the music and listening to kind of things I've done it and um, no obligation if you don't want to do it later you just cancel it but sign up for it and give it a try at the bare minimum, you get three free months of streaming anything through Amazon. So I will check you out on the next video. I'll try to bring you something inspirational, and I'll see you next time. Love you all. Bye-bye. These two are my favorite. But I do, I like that one. Maybe I wish I had a little less green. But everything dried perfectly. No cracking or crazing. It did not stretch any further and fall off of the edges. So I'm very pleased with the way the boom gel and the this little piggy pigments work. They stayed vibrant and dried really beautifully.